All right, so I saw Roberto's story on NBC Nightly News and Telemundo, and it touched me. He's from San Antonio. We're back now with the latest in the difficult struggles for children trying to learn English and students with special needs in this age of remote learning. Morgan starts us off now in San Antonio. 14-year-old Roberto Gomez loves to learn. Do you like school? Uh, la verdad mucho, sí. You really like school a lot. His family moved from Mexico to San Antonio, Texas, less than two years ago, and he's been trying to learn English ever since. Difficult to find ways to practice. He was a star student, but says his classes got harder when they went virtual last semester. Why are those virtual classes harder? Because I don't have direct contact with the teachers. Roberto is one of five million public school students learning English as a second language. A challenge that can be especially hard for many Latino students, since more than 40% of Latino families don't have a computer. And so what are you usually doing your work on? I do it in my phone. So you're doing your homework on your phone? Mm -hmm. Wow. Roberto's family of five shares one laptop. Even when he can access his assignments, he's on his own. Do you speak English? Mm -mm. No. Roberto's mom says he's been losing some of the English he's already learned since the pandemic. I was helping them with as much as I could with the activities. Pero no es suficiente. But it really isn't sufficient. Uh, he does all of his homework on a cell phone. Uh, he lives uh, with his family. They have one computer among them. Uh, I'm going to get him a laptop so that he can do his homework. Um, he, he's struggling to learn English because he doesn't have one-on-one -on -one interaction with teachers during the pandemic. So uh, I'm going to give him an extra boost by purchasing a Rosetta Stone for him with an extra special surprise. All right, so I'm gonna call Roberto now. Here we go. Hi, this is Jocko. This is Jocko. Hi, who am I speaking with? This is Alexa, and we have the in schools as well. Seems like Jocko, you, you speak Spanish. Um, Oh, no, no, no. Listen, I, I took Spanish for many years, all in high school in San Antonio and middle school. And then when I, I graduated, I never used it again. So you're going to definitely help. I'll, try, I'll chime in and say some things here and there, and then I'll lose confidence and I'm going to need your help. Okay. Hola, Roberto. Hola. Mucho gusto. Me llamo Jaco. ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> and uh, y también um, tenemos Carla. Carla, hola, hola. Tenemos que, tenemos que practicar. Tengo que practicar mi español. Uh, también tú practicas su inglés, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. Bien hecho. Okay. Mira, I saw your story on NBC Nightly News, and it really touched me because, uh, first of all, I grew up in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, I went to high school in San Antonio, just like you are. And uh, I eventually took so much Spanish that I became the president of my Spanish club. Fui el presidente del club de español en mi colegio. I know how difficult it is to learn a different language. I know that you have to do your homework on your cell phone. Um, and I know that you have one computer for the whole family but we can't have that. We have to make sure uh, during this time, especially when you don't have one-on-one uh, -on -one interaction with your teachers, it makes it very difficult for you to learn. So I'm going to get you a laptop computer so that you can do your homework. De nada, de nada. The reporter asked you, do you like school? And you said that you really do like school. And I think it's important that you have uh, an opportunity to be great. And so not only am I going to get you the computer, I'm going to make sure that you have a printer and I'm going to help you with your English even more. I wanted to purchase you a Rosetta Stone, uh, which is a program that's going to help you with your English. So okay, muchas gracias. De nada, de nada. And so the Rosetta Stone, they have all sorts of uh, memberships and I wanted to make sure that you had the best one available. So I've gotten you, not only can you do, can you learn English, but 
If you feel like learning any other language like French or German or Russian or Japanese, you're going to have access to any language you want to learn with your Rosetta Stone and you're gonna have a lifetime membership. <laughs> so you can learn as many languages as you want to, Roberto. I'm very, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of your family. Um, I know it's not easy, but I want you to be uh, encouraged. I want you to be inspired and I want your family to be inspired, okay? So this is just a small gift that I can provide to you uh, to make sure that you do well, all right? So I'm gonna be checking on you and make sure those grades are up. There's nothing wrong that you Welcome. You're very, very welcome. All right? So thank you. It is all my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for inspiring me. You really inspired me. And I know you inspired a lot of young people all over the country, young and old. So thank you for telling your story. It's very brave of you. And um, congratulations on your new computer and Rosetta Stone. Yay. And a printer. Thank you so much again. You're very welcome. You take care. Oh, have a great weekend. You too. Bye-bye. That's how you do it. Pay it forward. God blessed me in San Antonio, and it's time for me to be a blessing onto someone else.